Hi guys and welcome to Carflix. Today we're going to be changing the front indicator bulbs on a 2010 Peugeot RCZ and we're going to be upgrading them to LEDs. So without further ado, let's crack on with that video. Right, so these are the bulbs, the replacement bulbs for the halogen ones. They are PY21Ws, the LED variants. And a big shout out to Jeff Butson of the RCZ Owners Club who sent me a link for this. I will put the link in the description below as well. So let's have a look at these. So as you can see, it's a canvas style one. These are supposed to be error free and they've got LEDs all the way around the bulbs. And to tell these are the P21Y variants, they've got two nibs here and here. So let's go and fit them to the car. Right, so the first thing we need to do is to open the bonnet. Grayson, can you open the bonnet for me, please? You know where it is. Right, so once your bonnet has popped, you see this little metal tab here. Put your finger in, turn it left, and at the same time, lift the bonnet. Right, so I'm gonna do the driver's side first. A little trick is obviously, this bottle's in the way, so what you can do is you can just push that, it should pull out of the way, give you a little bit more access, like so. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this towards the centre of the engine until it clicks. And then all you do, there's no wires, really well thought out, and it pops out like that. Now before doing this, I found this was really tight and really hard to pull out. So what I did was I got a little bit of multi-purpose silicone grease and I lightly dabbed it around here and made it a lot easier to get in and out. So all we're going to do now is just change the bulb. Right, so once you've pulled this out, all you have to do is grab the bulb, push it down, turn left and it comes out like so. Just make a note of where the nibs are so you can put them back in when you put the new bulb in, okay? So once you've done that, get the nib that's sticking out, put it in there, push it in, turn it right, and that'll lock it in place then. And the best way to do this is the orange nib, you'll see a little slot for it to go in. Push it in, and it'll only go in one way and then turn it back towards yourself. And now we've lubricated that up, that went in so much easier. And that bit's done now. And then just get your washer bottle and just slide that back in where it was before. Right, so before we do the other one, let's do a comparison. And as you can see, even from this angle, how much brighter it is. I mean, safety wise, if you look at the old one, that looks really dim and slow. But if you look at this side, look how much brighter and it actually puts the light all the way through the lights. It's so much stronger. So I'm really impressed with that. So right, let's go and do the passenger side one. Right, so this is the passenger side one. Again, pretty uh, tight for space, but it's just here. And again, you kind of turn this up towards the sky and it should unslot like so, which it has them. I will put some more silicone grease on this because uh, this was a little bit tight as well. And there you have it. Now let's put this bulb in. So again, push the bulb down, it's spring loaded, turn it to the left and that should come out. And then obviously note where the nib is here again. So get your new one, the poking out nib here, goes into there and then turn it to the right and that's now seated. So let's go and put that back in. So what I'm going to do first is put a little bit of this silicon on just on the contacts here because it does get very very tight in there when you put it in and it'll make it a lot easier if you have to change these in the future. So again it's worth noting there's a little nib here you can't see it from there where I am but if you kind of slot it in you should be able to feel where it is, there we go. And then pull that down towards the bottom of the engine. Right, so there we have it. Brand new upgraded LED lights. And look at the difference. 
that is so much more clearer it's so much more safer than it was before so what for the sake of about five or six pounds a really good update like I say safety in mind as well and it even matches my side chaser lights here as well so overall a really good mod for not a lot of money Thanks ever so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, if you did please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit that bell icon. Bye. See you on the next one, bye for bye. now. P21Y LED, ah, do that again. Today we're going to be changing and upgrading the side indicator pole for a beaky maiden in the 2010. <laughs>